it was just a lawn, and then they used to put a marquee and things up. But I forget what it was in the late 60s or 70s. They then put this permanent building, which is on the, the sort of left-hand side as you enter the place. And then a few years later, they took another court away to put in the rose garden and the outside part. So originally, they used to put the members seated inside underneath the tent each year. Then they built the, um, like the rose garden on the right hand side. And then they decided to take up further down the ground, one of the hard courts and put a tent on there. So that when you went into the place to begin with, on the left hand side was buffet. And you went through to the hard court, which was tented, where the members actually sat with waitress service. In the early days, um, court six was played on the first Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, after that, they used to um, uh, use it as the part of the al fresco bit of the mm -hmm. members' restaurant. And at night, they take all the tables and all the chairs away and let the air get to the grass so that the court six still existed after the end of the championships. I used to have a table for 21 people and the table next door, which was the one up against the, the fence where the, you went down one side to the toilets and the first table was there and that was Fred Perry's table. And um, the chai arcing between the two tables was always great fun. But it, it, it rained now and again, you know, and it rained and it rained. And uh, one day we were standing at the bar. I mean, it was, it was canvas. Yeah, it was. And we were standing there in the corner um, uh, drinking and the rain was pouring down and suddenly the canvas in the corner split and we all got soaked. And I mean, we were so sloshed, we were all laughing like hell. So it didn't matter. I miss that place down there. Mm -hmm. It was much more uh, garden party-ish. Much more.